Hey y'all and welcome to Politibrawl. My name is Brian and these ladies absolutely sound off on this woke Democrat defending illegal immigration. This is moronic. Uh, people in California are not protected. The courts have said that there is no justice, no peace for the law abiding. Those who break the law and enter illegally are given preference over law abiding Americans. And California has now declared itself to be a dangerous state, Sean. California has decided that it wants to make it virtually impossible for law abiding Americans to be able to choose their pro choice right of self defense, you know, the, the feminist equalizer, a boomstick. Uh, but if you're an illegal alien and you are in that state being protected by it as a sanctuary, state, well, then you're afforded all of the luxuries of American citizens, including mm -hmm. rights that uh, we have sacrificed for due process. And you're given a slap on the wrist that this wasn't even involuntary manslaughter is an affront to due process. It's an affront to justice and all the law abiding citizens in California. I, this fail. is shameful. Well, as someone that is actually residing in California right now, I can say as a young woman living in California, this sends a very clear message to me, and that is the legals are protected in this state and Americans are not. And these, um, I think that Jessica, her heart is probably in the right place, but any time that you defend sanctuary cities, especially after this verdict has come out, I have to ask you, why would you still defend a policy that is harboring criminals? That's the end of the discussion. It's not, oh, there's a lot to look at it's here. Not it's pretty the end black of the and discussion. white. Well, to normal people, it's pretty black and white. Uh, it's obvious that it's not fair that illegal immigrants have been uh, given shelter at the taxpayer's dime. Uh, they are given money on the taxpayer's dime. And then a lot of them don't work. A lot of the recent migrants are going into these cities because they can be housed, fed, and they don't have to work for it. It is absolutely insane, and you would have to be nuts to not believe in it. And yet, here we are. When you... When we have a national tragedy, and we have Dana on the panel, who's a, a firearms expert, when we have a mass shooting, we don't say we need to take away all the guns because someone misused Liberals it. Liberals do, all no, the time. They don't say we take away all the guns. We want no, responsible you know gun reform. 94% of Americans I have want... To I have to interject. Well, please. You know, law-abiding Americans are always blamed for the actions of criminal thugs like uh, Zarate, this individual who murdered Kate Steinle. Law-abiding Americans who are Second Amendment practitioners are constantly blamed for the actions of repeat offenders like this illegal alien. But yet when the illegal alien does it, oh, it was an accident. He meant to shoot a seal. If only law-abiding Americans got as much courtesy and, and, and were afforded that as much as this individual was. It's never going to happen. But, but now you can understand why so many law-abiding Americans are so Right. disgruntled at this. I want to be angry about this. I remember waking up the other day just angry about the death of Lake and Riley because this was a preventable death. And they're not talking about this incident. This is an older video, but that's why we're showing it because we have a problem. We have a massive problem. People have been flooding our border, illegally crossing it. They haven't been vetted. We don't know why they're here or what they want. All they know is they're going to get free stuff from us. And I don't mind bringing in a whole bunch of people into the United States. Uh, I think we can handle it. But it's putting a huge burden on local municipalities. It's hurting current residents because the way that we govern ourselves is based around current population. Not, sorry, not current population, but population based off of older numbers, older data. We would then have to accelerate forward in order to pay for all this. That means raising even more taxes. That means that there's even more strain on the system. It's not fair to the pr people living in those cities. And then they're shown better treatment than people who are suffering here in America. It is absolutely insane. And why is it happening? Well, one reason is it's one of the few ways that liberals can show their patriotism. They think America is so great, we can handle all of these new imported immigrants and don't, don't think that anything's going to go wrong. Well, a lot has gone wrong. There have been people who are no longer on this earth because of illegal immigrants. It, it's okay to say that. And furthermore, if you want to trigger a liberal, say her name, Lakin Riley. And if you want to trigger a liberal in your world, why don't you go over to my friends over at BaseBy.shop, link in the description below, and show the world just how conservative you really are. And folks, it all comes down to this. Democrats believe that Democrats do not like the middle class. They do not like the suburbs. They do not like suburbanites. They do not like rural people either, for the most part. There's a few based people, truly. But they believe in a system where there's the rich and the poor. You tax the rich to subsidize the poor and you get rid of that middle class. That's what's happening in 
that is basically what happened to Colorado. It's starting to happen all across the nation now, particularly in the New South. And we're seeing the erosion of the suburbs. We're seeing the erosion of the middle class. And they're trying to import more people in order to get that rich and poor distinction. That's what they want. And it could have disastrous results for this country. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed this segment here on Politibrawl. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. And until then, y'all have a good one.